Hey everyone, it's Black Bunny Bay. And it's Agent Claude. And we're back at it again for another video. So, um, if you don't know, uh, today was a very monumental day um, in the Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez case. Um, it's technically not Megan versus Tory, it's technically California versus Tory. Um, and California won, so... Yeah. So the house never loses. Yeah. So Tori got found guilty on all charges. Um, I don't know if you want to scroll up so that they can see the headlines because this is pretty serious. Mm. Um, Tori is definitely gonna go to jail because <laughs> uh, being Californians, we know they they don't play. They don't play when it comes to uh, justice, quote unquote, if you want to say the criminal justice system. I'll say that. Um, Yo, I'm low key. I'm okay. I want to ask you this, Clyde. As a someone who has not followed the case, you're not aware at all on what's going on. What are your thoughts so far? And then we'll read the article to give the viewers more information. But as someone who does not know anything about this case, what are your thoughts on this from what you've seen, like the little bits that you've seen on social media? That's the thing. My social media doesn't cover like celebrity shit. So, any sycophantry that is to be had is only when I'm recording with you. <laughs> but um, if I had to venture a guess, I'd say some ratchery went on. I'm I probably have to bleep this or ask the editor to bleep it if I end up don't ed if I end up not editing it. Um, some straight niggatry. Uh, yeah. Um. Was I just know it's a black man going up against the state, so it ain't gonna look too good. But yeah. then again, there's been a lot of pandering to the black woman, so it's gonna it might look bad if they don't let her walk away with the whole Britney Griner thing. It's it's a lot because from what I can tell, it's two artists that got drunk, and it's a bad look for the black community as a whole. Oh, certainly. But I do want to say before before we get into this, because you're gonna be doing the majority of the talking. Like I mm -hmm. I don't follow this. I'm more of a science man. Um, there's going to be some elements of red pill, blue pill, pink pill, oh, clear sure. seal pill, whatever pill all they the got these days. To, <laughs> all the the, the really. prescription cabinet is about to be unlocked. Okay. Honestly. And it, and it's, and it's, um, it's, um, I want to say this be somewhat a pragmatic person because y'all don't know us from Adam or Eve. Um, but the, the case of the matter is regardless of how we're going to give our opinion, we're going to be categorized. I just, right. I just, I just want to get that out the way. I, if I end up disagreeing or agreeing, it's going to be like, oh, well, you're in this camp, you're in this camp. What, that's like, okay. But we're all in, in the black camp, and it was a bad look for black folk. Yeah. Um, also, yeah. Um, as <clears throat> I'll say this, I was neutral throughout this entire case. I was somewhat wanting to know what was going to happen, you know, um, because I get it that Megan lied about the initial like injury. So people didn't believe her and all that stuff. But I was like, no, if the doctor said that there were bullet fragments in her foot, I was like, Ugh, that's not a good look, Tori. And then, uh, and I was following this whole thing because I am I'm obviously like a, I follow celebrity news. So even when Tori was doing quarantine radio, when Meg the Stallion had gone on a song with Beyonce, like I was all up in it. And then so when they were, you know, starting to hang out with these other celebs like Kylie Jenner and whoever else, I was like, oh, OK. I mean, just, you know, tread, like, <laughs> tread carefully, but like, you know, have fun. Do what you're going to do. You're a celebrity, whatever. And then when this happened, I was like, oh, wow. OK. And. From someone who I have like a neutral opinion on both of them, um, Tori, well, actually not on both of them. Tori, I've seen some of his antics in the past. He he reminds me of like the the baby, like um, the baby is very short tempered. So is Tori. They're both very like you know, like they're about their you know they buck up when they want to buck up. Like you know, like other rappers do that, but like they specifically do that the, a lot. I would say in the past couple of years, I've been hearing about them a lot. So seeing this unfold was very interesting because the reaction from social media to me was, it was, I don't know, it was weird. 
it was weird. Um, Are you afraid to state your true opinion on this? I'm not afraid to state my true opinion. I just don't want to say anything that people are going to take the wrong way. Because it's your opinion. Okay, again, it just from the beginning, I knew that I? Megan got shot. So I was like, well, it's, there's only I? one of three options. May I? Yeah, go ahead. Say what you will, Lass. They're going to say something regardless. You might as well just, it's our channel. You're free to say what you want. I get that. But like I said, I'm trying to say it from a perspective that makes sense. And also, <clears throat> because I was neutral for most of it. I was just like, if these are the things that happened, the consequences will be handed out. Okay, well, let, let, let me help you out here since I'm going to be the one that's kind of like the fish out of water because okay. this is not my territory at all. But what do you mean by you are neutral? I was more so wanting to see what the results of the case were. So I was neutral in that regard. I didn't care if he got found innocent or found guilty. But the fact that he got charged, I was like, something's about to pop off. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, yeah. But my, my question to follow up that would be, what was she charged with? And if She wasn't was charged with anything. She was the victim. She got shot. Not even inciting violence. I mean, she didn't get charged with anything. She was the only one that went to the hospital. The other three individuals. Other were, three. There were because there's four people in the car. There was the bodyguard. There was her ex best friend, her, and Tori. So it's just the four of them in the car. They're you know having a fight or whatever. You know how like when you get drunk, like I've drunk, been talking about fun drunk, so I don't know. You're a fun drunk. Okay, well there's some people who are not. <laughs> <laughs> there's some people who are anger drunks. Um. And, you know, if you get drunk, because according to other other bloggers and other reports, they, between Kelsey and Megan, they finished six bottles when they were at... Um, six at, bottles of what? Six bottles of heavy liquor. And they were at Kylie's house. They were not even there all day. They were there for like a few hours. So I'm like, if you, you're you on that level, you know, the What's spirits, heavy liquor? Are we talking like alcohol content, like percentage-wise? like Hennessy, Connie, like whatever the... the Top shelf shit is because that's what they're they're celebs, so they can afford whatever they want. You know, they're gonna get the best of the best. So the shit Sponsored that will really do drinks. it's, you know, the stuff that's really gonna hit the way it's supposed to hit. So if they can finish six bottles, me, I can't even do half of one before I start <laughs> throwing up and blacking well, out. You're, you're just a little skinny thing. Of course I'm, you wouldn't. Well, not that skinny, but anyways, <laughs> you know, it's just like if. If that amount of consumption can happen in a few short hours, you can imagine the type of like inebriation that's occurring. So I take it they didn't eat anything. I I doubt it. Straight to the club. Straight to the no, head. not the club. They were at a friend's house. Like it was a gathering, right? There was it was reported to have oh. eight people there or something. So it's like you're. At it was a, a private affair. Yeah, you're like at a kickback. You're chilling. You're hanging out. Mm. Tensions are rising. Um, people are starting to get feel a way towards other people because of, you know, some okay, various so things let's, are let's, going on. You know, let's, right? let's move on a bit then. You're saying it's feeling a way. So let's advance the night, right? Okay. They had six bottles, as you say, or mm -hmm. is this alleged for, no, for our protection? Um. Oh, yeah. It's alleged. Okay. Alleged. Well, no, it was said in the in the trial. Okay. As well, long as we're saying something that's already been It was said in the trial fact. by one of the witnesses or it's one of the called upon witnesses. Okay. So as long as we're saying things that are fact. Yes. So as a, as a, as a person who's coming to this – Obviously, I don't know shit about it. You, there is no recollection of them saying they ate anything. They had six bottles. They advanced. Things might have been said during a drunken tirade. Mm -hmm. Now what? Um. Now, according to the other witness at in front of the home that they were where this whole thing started, or not, yeah, pretty much where the incident occurred, not where it started, but where it occurred, because they're in Calabasas somewhere with, you know, they're at Kylie's house. Or oh, whatever Calabasas is a nice area. Exactly. So you can already so if people... The witness that was called on the stand said that he was so scared that they were going to throw, and I'm assuming Megan's, body in the river because that's how much they were beating on each other. That's according to his This is like a Shanquella thing. You know what? Actually, I mean, th according to him, that's the witness. That's according to the witness. How good is eyewitness testimony? I, I mean, really? again, this also happened two years ago, but he said he was traumatized. And if a white person saying they're traumatized, you already know what trauma. You know, you like you already know they don't get traumatized like that. You know what I mean? So, oh boy. So, um, go but on. He said that you know he thought they were. They also at the scene found like fingernails and stuff on the ground. So like, and if you have acrylics on, ladies, ladies, those of you who get your oh, nails done, falses. You know. 
you know how hard you got to be hitting somebody for the acrylic to pop off. And you know the pain that comes with that. It's a special kind of pain. You sure? That wasn't from impact, from falling on the well, ground. Wow, well, she didn't fall on the ground, though. When did she fall on the ground? Well, you said fingernails were found on the ground, so I assume fingernails. someone... But if they're fighting, they're not going to... So someone's it. clawing at someone. That, Both of them are clawing at each other, according to them. So where's... Is there pictures according of gashes, wounds, nicks, and gnashes? I mean, she went to the hospital. They took pictures of her foot. Her foot? You said her fingers, though. Somebody's nail. I don't know whose nail it was. I don't know if it was hers. I don't so, know if it was okay, the other girl. let me ask you this. Was there any DNA thing? Any DNA? Yeah, they did DNA. A lot of the... Um, a lot of the DNA analysis was a little shoddy. In my, well, not shoddy. I feel like it was not done thoroughly. Explain yourself. Um, just because, like, some of the results came back, like, inconclusive and stuff. And I'm like, okay, so not thoroughly on the part of the investigation. Inconclusive but it's just on like whom? On, for example, on the weapon that was used to injure. The firearm. The firearm. Yeah. Um, they found. They said they found, you know, I think they said four different DNA profiles. On one fire, so there was a tussle. Again, there was a well. Oh, if Don't someone know. has a firearm, unless someone is brandishing it and they're holding, they're gonna use it, or they lost possession of the firearm. That's the only way you're gonna get multiple fingerprints. I right? mean, also it could be that like people forget, like it's not like if unless you clean your gun all the time, like other people. Have, you said or, they were drunk. It, hold yeah. on, hold on. They're drunk, in a tirade. Mm-hmm. A firearm is brandished. And then there's four sets of fingerprints on it. Well, I don't know if they said four sets of fingerprints. They you said, said DNA that. profiles. I didn't say fingerprints. Okay, well, DNA I profiles. What, I don't know what that can... I don't know so, the specific details. I mean, maybe in this article it will say these things. These are things that I'm hearing from other sources. And, again, I'm using been their wording. To, haven't you? I haven't been talking to anybody, please. I am following other mm. bloggers, and I'm keeping up on Twitter and social media and all those because people are reacting like we actually after we read this article we're going to go to twitter and we're going to look at Fair. some of the hashtags i'll read it i'll read it okay and my thing is is i want to understand when you say four dna profiles what does that mean in the court of law I and, don't and know. as a as a genealogist uh, i don't know i guess would it be a genealogist that's i don't know this? I'm that's just saying not, when that's you not say my expertise, so I really don't know. I can't even fair. answer that question. No, no, no. For you. Fair, fair. I'm just saying when you say when you mention profiles, that means something that's worth up. It, it you didn't say four different DNA fingerprints. You said four different profiles, and that's what was. So that's what I'm saying. It's profile. Profile can us. easily mean in their terminology orientation of how the firearm was and held. that's what i'm i don't know like if Do you, you got a, what i'm saying if you got a, an I, android smartphone and you put fingerprints in there right mm-hmm. you can have multiple profiles because that's different fingers mm-hmm. that is registering for biometric purposes and that also includes once you get past i think the 75 percent threshold you have to reorientate whatever digit you're using for it to register so that way when you do hold your device in different orientation it can read it properly I think my mask came off for a bit, didn't it? No. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyways, we'll, we'll check and edit. So, all right, let's get on with the article then. Be, so, before we, be, actually, before we do, make sure you subscribe. Don't worry about liking and commenting because we already know you're going to do what the hell you want to do. Right. But just do us a solid. Just subscribe. Just subscribe. That's it. You know. It's free. I mean, for fuck's sake. You get entertainment. At least I hope so. I mean, you see what this lot's wearing, right? Anyways. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, <laughs> Miss, if, I mean, if it's the things are thinging. I mean. I'm not listening. I'm, anyways, moving on. Tory Lanez found guilty in the 2020. Sh- Damn, this was two years ago, didn't it? Yeah. 2020 shooting of Megan the Stallion. That's actually her name, isn't it? That's her stage name, yes. Her real name is Megan Pete. That's not even her real face, is it? That's her face. You sure? I mean, she has lashes and makeup on, but that's her face. That's not like, her face, then. Fuck it. Anyways, there's a bit of a video. I'm not sure. Wait. Mm, what did YouTube say about this plane? Fair use. Yeah, we fair, already put fair that use. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, yeah, we put that so, right. we're good. We'll play the video later. I want to read it. You know, reading is fundamental, as Eddie Griffin exactly. once said. Let's read the article. CNN. <clears throat> a Los Angeles jury on Friday found rapper and singer Tory Lanez guilty of three charges related to July 2020 shooting of fellow rapper Megan Thee Stallion in the Hollywood Hills, the Los Angeles County District Attorney told CNN. Lanez had pleaded not guilty. Hold on. For our visually impaired folk, let me go ahead and zoom in for a bit for you. Hopefully that helps. And zoom. Okay. 
Oh. Or the partial rotation. Oh, right, right, right. Well, actually, I don't think I can pan. I don't think I can go horizontal. Sorry, folks. Okay. Well, I was trying to trying mind. to help you guys out. That's just all can good. I, can I? I can go oh, a yeah, little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Perfect. But no, it's not, it's not going to be the full. No, that's fine. Okay. It was good. It was centered. Yeah, but Center a we're still bit. covered. See? So? No, no, no. I'll have oh, to hold perfect. I have to right? hold it. Right? Just, oh, you have to hold it? Yes. Yeah, if I let go, it goes. Oh. It's, it's a MacBook. I'm oh, sorry. Then my mask definitely it came, came off. It definitely came off. Fix it in post. Okay. Anyways. You can actually edit this whole part because my nose is itching. Um, I'm going to zoom out for you a lot. Sorry for the visually impaired. No, well, I am reading it for you. Whatever. What? Lanes had pleaded not guilty to assault with a semi automatic fire. Semi automatic? I thought it was a pistol. Anyways, I moving mean. on. <laughs> carrying, well, I mean, it, we can talk gun logic later. Carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle and discharge of the firearm with gross negligence. Damn, they put gross negligence. Yeah, because somebody to still got injured. I mean, that's what they said in the service, you know. Yeah. The negligent discharge. Exactly. The jury convicted him on all three counts. Megan accused Lane of shooting her in the foot after she exited the vehicle. They had been riding and following in an argument. In her testimony during trial, Megan said things were tense in the car between her, Lane's, and her former friend and assistant, Kelsey Harris, Beardmore Magazine reports. The artist testified, Lane's, wanted her to come clean with Harris about the fact that two of them had been intimate. Oh, so it's about fucking. Well, we don't. Okay. That's, about, what, no, that's no, what the trial said. You said, said intimate. That doesn't mean that that's the reason. That's oh, what Tori. That's what Tori was saying all over social media. He was saying, "Oh, the whole reason why the fight started is because he was having sex with both Megan and Kelsey, and this was not the first time that Megan has slept with someone that Kelsey was seeing." That is what is being um, alleged. Are we, are we back in high school now? Again, I mean, it's he's celebrities are high schoolers, right? Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. It's really My interest just, is waning. They're just like the popular kids. Like the imagine the entire world being high school and they're the popular kids. But this is apparently a big case then. Oh yeah, because it's been going on for two years. She's she's been getting bullied on social media for two years. I've seen it all. Um he's also been getting support and bullying. Um most people actually which is interesting with this case happening. Mm -hmm. Most people I've seen on social media, their sentiment has been again, I don't know why. But has been negative towards Megan and then more like supporting Tori. And I saw the shift when people found out that she had lied about being intimate with Tori. Because before she was like, no. And in that actual, the clip that's, you know, freeze framed, she so, said in an interview a few months ago that she had not been. So people were like, oh, if you're going to lie, then I don't want to, like, I'm okay, checked out. Okay, you know? okay, okay. I can see where the mistrust is, but this is basically a celebrity level lower lovers quarrel. That's what yeah, this is. Pretty much. And what it is? Yeah. All right. Anyways, but Billboard reports Megan was uncomfortable doing so because she knew Harris had a crush on the Canadian singer. He's Canadian. Yeah, he's from Canada. He was beefing with Drake when he first came out. So. Oh, who cares at this point? Hey, moving on. Fucking Drake. <laughs> Anyways, um, I went a little too fast. There we go. Oh, it's a very short article, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not that. It's not that long. Megan said she had ex exited the car. Wait, so she was on the run when he got when she, she got shot. She was on the run, but they were arguing so much in the car that she got out because she was trying to get out and be like, you know, you know how like was when the you vehicle get moving? No, no, no. Like they had parked and stuff. Oh. Well, actually, I don't know that, but. I'm going to assume that they were parked because by the time the police came and you, there was helicopter footage of, you know, the, the incident because she was limping and whatnot because, um, you know, L.A. has helicopter police. Um, so they don't have that up here. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's in L.A. Let's not let's not dox ourselves here. Let's move on. We're not doxing. Don't worry. I start. This is her talking. But anyways, actually, um, you're a female. Why don't you read that part? OK. OK. I yeah, started this is, walking this, away. This is a woman. <clears throat> she said, I started walking away and I hear Tori yell, dance, bitch. She tearfully testified, according to Billboard. I froze. I just felt shock. I felt hurt. I looked down at my feet and all I see is this all and I see all this blood. Megan showed incredible courage and vulnerability. Of course she did. Right. Let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's up the ante. Way to go, CNN. <laughs> During her testimony, despite repeated and grotesque attacks, L.A. County D.A. George Gascon said in a statement to CNN following the verdict, you face an unjust and despicable scrutiny that no woman should ever face. And you have been an inspiration to others across LA County and the nation, she said, in reference to Megan. Wait a minute. 
what influence has Megan the Stallion done for the nation? Okay, so it's not necessarily that she has influence, but she is on Rock Nation's stop. label or something. I got to or... stop you right there. She's an artist. Yes. Granted. Some can argue that we're artists, what we're doing, and our presentation yeah, format. Yeah. By the way, you should like what we're doing by subscribing. Yes. You don't have to hit the like button. It's fine. Just subscribe. But what I'm trying to point out is, what did she honestly do to be an inspiration across L.A. County and the nation? It's I mean, I will they, say they wrote this. this. CNN wrote this. I will this. say this. For, again, um, she technically was like an orphan because her mother died when she was on her come up to fame. Her mother was her manager. Her mother was her inspiration because her mother was also a rapper in Houston. Um, Who was she? Um, I don't really know too much about she her. She wasn't that known then, was she? I mean, in her area. We're not from there, so I don't know. Oh, so she's a lab. She was like in, you know, like, you know how like. She's a can... lab. Sure. I don't know. It's a that term means... that it means local area. Musician or something. Okay. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. The B is subject to whatever you want. It doesn't mean bitch. It just means whatever. Oh, okay. Because well. you, you, lab ass rappers. That's what people. I've never heard of that before, but okay. Okay. You learn something new every day. Yeah, you're welcome. So, <laughs> um, so you know, her mother had died. Mind you, her father had died previously. Um, her father was in jail for a good portion of her, I think, childhood or something, and then he ended up dying, and then her grandmother died. So pretty much all of her people who would support her all passed away mm-hmm. as she was becoming famous. So. Illuminati sacrifice. I wouldn't say that because she was. If you got your tinfoil cookies, I mean, I mean, y'all can say what you want. I mean, sure, if you want to run with that theory, go ahead. But <laughs> um, I wouldn't personally say that because just the way how everything played out. Although no, you know what? No. Blood <laughs> sacrifice is needed. No, because that's you way are too many. People. All of you vermin. That's too many people, I think. But you um, so. Sacrifice. Anywho. My bad. My bad. Been on so, the ramp. Yep. Been on the ramp. <laughs> So she was basically, you know, on the come up. Sure. Um, and then, you know, she pretty much lost her foundation. So mm-hmm. she's, you know, latching on. And she even said this herself. Like she was seeking, she was grieving pretty much. And her grieving process was to drink. She was always driving the boat. Oh, I remember that. The bottle. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of people do. Yeah, so typical. she was driving the boat, which means like she's pouring liquor into different people's mouths. It's a music video. Directly. It's not a music video, but it's a term that, like, when she was on the come up, when she was on the rise, everyone, she's like, oh, drive the boat, drive the boat, drive the boat. And I remember that, too. And I was like, what the? Do you actually drive a boat or do you ma- no, pilot a boat? I don't. Yo, that's a good question. Because you pilot an aircraft. I would you say drive, drive because it, no, no, no. You drive it because it has a steering wheel. But it has a rudder at the end. But it has a steering wheel. So you're driving. I feel, it has like any, a, I feel like anything that has a steering wheel is So that means driving. you're equating tires on an automobile as rudders. Because that's what essentially is the steering wheel is attached to an what axle. what are tires? Aren't they directional? Well, yeah, especially if you got the new Hummer. It has a little crab walk thing. It's, so a, land, then, it's a land boat. So then. I mean, Cadillac should be land So boats. then. All right, then. I'm Anywho. Not, I, okay. I'll, so, I'll, I'll, we'll yield on that one. I'll put a pin <laughs> in it. I got to look that up. Yeah, please do. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you know, she's grieving. She's going through this. She's latching onto people that she doesn't really know that well. She's coming up in an industry that is very fake. All these things are happening. She's, you know, also trying to enjoy her fame, enjoy her new notoriety, enjoy all that stuff. And then this happens. And then with this happening, the onslaught of the social media hate that came to her also propelled her in mainstream media to be the like the unofficial but official spokesperson of like protect black women hashtag. So every time mm. something was going on, she was like, protect black women, protect black women. Yeah, and I then, see that coming up. Right. So let's should, should we get into yeah, that. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay. It says women, especially black women. And like, if they're any different from just black people. Well, yes, they are. I will say yeah, that yeah. as a, as somebody who is Come black on. women, black female presenting, I will say that because we have a different set of challenges than you. We're not saying that we don't have the same. challenges, period. Exactly, but we have a different set. And but don't ours you think is that's below. part of the gender war? It's not just part of the gender war. You have to understand, as a black woman, you're getting discriminated for being black and discriminated for being a woman. As a black man, you're getting discriminated for being a black person. 
but not a man. You're still in a patriarchal society. Are you sure about that I am statement sure because audio. I go through this on a daily basis. Do I need to list all the black men that's been killed? I'm not. Well, do we need to list all the black women that don't even make it to the news to even Actually, be listed? Actually, this is part of their programming. We're starting to do Okay. Thing. That's why I'm trying to but tell I'm you. Just I'm just saying. Not, it's not that. I'm not saying one is more you know, hmm. one is more oppressive than the other, but we have different no, challenges. it's them. It's how they're wording it's not, it. Well, duh. I'm going to, I'm trying to explain. So is a black woman not so, a woman? Yes, but we're black as well. I want you to understand in this country, being a black woman is a double oppression thing. Being black is oppression. Being a woman is oppression. Being a black woman is double oppression. Does that make sense? You just compounded the same two things you but said. But it's exactly. It's compounding. Do you get what I'm saying? It's compounding. Like literally compounding. It is more difficult. But then it works difficult. in favor for you it doesn't. Oh, America. it doesn't work in favor because black women. Okay, I'll say this and I don't even want to put this out there, but I've been through shit. And I've been through. I've been a victim of certain crimes. And guess what the police told me? They're like, if you're not going to file, if you're not going to do anything, don't waste my time. And this was something that was serious that happened to me. And I was like, wow, look at me. The why didn't you file? Huh? Why didn't you file? I did file. This was them oh. trying to even get the statement. That's what they told me before they even oh. took the statement. Okay. I was like, if you didn't file. I right. didn't. A, they said, if you're not even going to file, don't waste my time. I don't want to do this paperwork. To my face. Literally 12 hours after the incident happened, mm. as I'm in mm -hmm. the hospital. So I will mm. say it is a different set of challenges. It is very different. People, okay, well, as a man, you may not realize because we're in a patriarchy. There are some privileges that you have as a oh, man. We are not in the patriarchy. We are in a patriarchy because mm -hmm. if we weren't, the last mm, how many presidents have we had? You're looking at how it. How many presidents you're, you're have we had? At, you're looking at it from a topical perspective. I, well, even if that. I'm looking at a topical perspective, I'm looking at it in a general perspective. How many presidents have we had in this country? Forty-five, forty-six now. Forty-six. How many of them have been female? But that doesn't. How many of them have been female? None. But that's okay. Not so I rest my case. Though. Anyways, so if it's not patriarchy, no, that means not. they are in control. Do you know what a true patriarchy looks like? If you I, leave America, it doesn't mean that we're in a true patriarchy, but we are in a patriarchy. Whatever variation of it we're in, we're still in one. How? It, because are we in a matriarchy? Are women making decisions? Are women making moves? You are have we the ones, rights and rules. We here have that rights that we have to fight for. Are we the ones making the rules and saying you guys can't do this? Who just reversed the Roe v. Wade stuff? I hate to tell you, Bonnie, you that? just tripped over your own words. You, you, the fact that you have rights is the difference. Let you know there's we not a We had to fight for rights. Okay. If you have to fight for something that should be God given, that means you're oppressed. Okay. It's the same you way that black people are fighting for their rights you can in a racist society. On just about you have anything. To, li listen, I want you to understand this real quick. The same way that white people and black people have a, ten a tenuous relationship mm -hmm. is the same way that men and women have a tenuous relationship. Mm -hmm. Granted, it may be on different levels, but it's the same type of stuff. So you as a black person understand mm -hmm. that tension between black and white. Mm -hmm. So as a woman, I understand that both directions. Does it make sense? That's why it's doubly oppressive. Yeah, but my thing is, you can say, you have the freedom to say all that. That lets you know you're not in a patriarchy. We are in a patriarchy. We're in a country that How? allows free speech. If I was in Iran where they're literally about to kill 15,000 protesters for them be wanting to show their hair, Bonnie? I would have been killed. Bonnie. <laughs> So, do, just saying. Do women have control over their bodies here? No, not really, because they just reversed a major major thing and you know why year. that was why was that Please because the fact that you can just go out willy-nilly have sex and abort children it was reducing the population especially amongst white people okay so they had to do something to curb that because by 2035 or maybe 2045 if, if they if their plan still on, stays on schedule the most of this country is going to be brown um, it's going to be regardless. The right. world is majority brown and hence, black anyway. Okay, so and hence, I want people to understand why, that I, hence, we're not minorities. Hence so don't why get it twisted. We're they not reversed minorities. that decision because they saw that the birth rates were out of control. We to can the go point a level deeper. We can go a level deeper. It's not because of that specifically. It's because they also need more people in the workforce or they no, need they more don't. unstable they need more unstable households because if there are more women mm -hmm. who do get pregnant out of wedlock, they're going to be single family homes, right? Single parent family homes. Those homes are a little bit more unstable than a two parent family, right? 
statistically speaking, we're just speaking of demographics and all that stuff, right? So if that's mm -hmm. the majority of the population that is having to go through those different, you know, struggles mm -hmm. that could be avoided, guess what? They're more likely to end up in prison or have or well, be a, a, be a product of proven. the system. That was, that and, was, and that's why they stopped. That it because was in Moynihan It's scissors. a two-pronged thing that they're doing. They're trying to make mm -hmm. sure that the population that's decreasing mm -hmm. will increase and the population that is increased is going to be used to support that other population. You're literally, you're literally just paraphrasing the Moynihan report about how they got the males out of the home. Yeah, and they're trying to do it again. That's so, what I'm trying to so tell you. They're we're trying to we're do both again. saying the same thing, but we're saying it from a different perspective. Right. But so, like, I want to say earlier. To say that this, because this is about Megan. We're, it we is. went off on a tangent. But what we I, are. We're in a total. What I'm like, trying to do is be curious to it, because, like, we both don't understand where our collection of index knowledge came from. Okay. But it probably does have a nexus point where it's like, oh, okay, we can probably see we had the same lines of information. It was just yeah. told to us through different filters. Um, My yeah. thing is to say that this is an outright patriarchy. I have to unequivocally disagree with you. On Beca that one okay. Because it's not. If it, Okay. So what makes it not? I want to hear what actually would make it not a patriarchy because we are definitely in a patriarchy. Well, <laughs> like, we, can start, we can start with black men. Um, just because the men of it's you racial, want me to explain? it's racial. Did you want me to explain? Okay. Okay. Let's explain. So let's talk about the black male simpship with this whole red pill, black pill. Oh my God. Shit. Are we going to so, go there? Okay. Go there. That's fine. Let's go. Because we I don't want to check the back. red we pillars need... over here. That's why. Well, they're going to come either way because they, they see the thumbnails and stuff. But because this whole article, we need to get back to Tory Lanez and Megan. Right. We went off on a bit of a tangent, but let's, and you can have the last word. I'm, I'm just no, letting no, no. you. Go ahead. What I'm just illustrating is that the design of you saying that this is a patriarchy is far fetched to the sense that black men do not have that paradigm of structure, especially when you look at birth rates and who was giving birth to what. Was there a lot of men in the home? No. The Moynihan report proved that getting that man out the home caused single motherhood to rise because they realized women made a choice. Black women made a choice. They did they, not make a choice. They made a choice they to did. receive the check versus listen, receive the listen, help of the man. Listen, 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 because I've actually done extensive research on this topic specifically. Sure. So I have a lot of a lot sure. of data to back this up. Okay. Okay. First, mm -hmm. black men have – the reason why you're saying it's not a patriarchy is because you're looking at one subdivision of the greater, correct? You're not looking at the whole structure because who is in power right now? Is it white men or is it white women? It's actually rich oligarchs, but but okay. who are and who makes up that majority? That's uh, that's literally who a makes mixed up bag. that majority. No, that's when you think of old money. What bag. do you think of? Older couples who had power. But structure. who are those couples? That that who, span, what race that are they? Spans, what race are they? That's what I'm saying. That spans no, but multiple answer my races. Question. It does. It, it in this does. country, I'm going to specify to America because they're my okay, people. Okay, so thank you. So now you're okay, specifying. Okay, so specify when you said who first, are the people who are in power in this country? Bankers. What are their racial makeup? You what are what well, we are, might get canceled for saying this word? Who? We're gonna get no, we don't need to say no. You don't <laughs> so, need to say, say small hat. You don't need to say the ethnic the group. Small, you can say the racial group. What group? Small of, hat people. No. Say the racial group, not the ethnic group. The racial group. And I'm saying small You're, hat people. No, 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 no. Say the racial group the because there's only four channel. races. Um, there's only. Yep, there's there, only, goes, there only, goes. There's only about three. If you want to mix it up, four races, right? Well, what group is the one that is in charge in this country? Technically, it is only the human race. Okay, see, you're over here trying to skirt the question. I need you I'm to just not. answer. I'm trying to Why avoid... Why can't I hear myself? Did you unplug it? No. Hold on. Yes. Did you turn it down? Okay. You turned it down? Yeah. It okay. turned down by itself. Well, oh, you got it behind you, eh? Yeah. Okay. What I'm saying is, if I say those words, we're a small you channel can just say You can say Caucasian male. You can say the scientific words. You don't I was going to say Jews. What group are they from, dude? They don't identify what as are, Caucasian. They identify but they Jews. are Caucasian. I've sure. I've, Caucasoid, Mesozoid, Negroid, all that stuff. And mind you, I have... Close personal relations with rabbis and stuff too. I actually one of sure. a really good friend of mine is a rabbi. That's great. And he told me specifically, he's he is a white man. He knows that he's a white man, but he's sure. also Jewish. That doesn't negate the fact that he's a white person. Sure. 
and who so out of that whole structure out of all the different groups of people that live in this country Mm -hmm. who are the big ones who make the decisions well, that's what I said. It's, it's who white. Are the ones it, who make, you can say caucus. So it's white men, correct? So if they're mm-hmm. the ones who are in power making decisions, mm-hmm. that proves the patriarchy is f- in full effect. Just because everyone else has their hierarchy, mm-hmm. they all have their standing. Whoever's at the top, that's what controls, correct? So we're mm-hmm. not in a matriarchy because if you're in a matriarchy, and for example, if I black, didn't say a matriarchy, but we're definitely not in a matriarchy. And I there's never literally said matriarchy. If, so what would we be if we're not in a patriarchy? I or was going to explain to you that for at least black men, we're in a gynocracy, meaning women led a lot of the things that inside is the black community. in the black community. But the right. black community in America was affected by what group of people? There's no. That's irrefutable to say that it's not other than white people. That's, so then there you but go. But I'm saying so if in they terms are controlling the environment, if they're controlling mm-hmm. your environment and mm-hmm. they're controlling the factors that okay. can make you and create you into a certain type of person because mm-hmm. they're over here blocking you at every chance you get to try and get yourself out of this matrix, like they're keeping you in a rat race, what you does that mean? You want to know what mean? a true patriarchy is? Ask Brittany Griner. Exactly. America does not have a patriarchy. They do. No. They if do. anything, it's a failing republic that's trying to act like a democracy at best. But it is not a true patriarchy. No one a true said patriarchy that it's a p- true is, patriarchy, but it is a patriarchy. I just gave you an example that you, anyone in recent memory can look up right now. Okay. That's that's a true patriarchy. It's right what? There. Russia. That's a true patriarchy. Where... If you get out of line, I can just slap the piss out you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Here, if I slap you, you can say it's assault, domestic violence, get caught up in the court system, get cashed out. But however, do you see how, but do you see how that can still happen? It's just that the justice no, part comes after. No, no, because, because that can still happen. People you get killed earlier, every day. People get beat up every day. I know people who are in domestic fine. violence situations right now. Sure, DDs, right now. Sure, with their sure. significant other. Sure. They're not beating, you know, like, sure. I'm just saying, but that, as a that, woman, that, that does not define that as a true patriarch. I, I gave examples. You can go to the Middle East. You, you said it earlier yourself. Yeah. You can't go out the house with a certain hairstyle. You got to have a man next to you. That's, yeah. you have to have that's a patriarchy. To go that's a true patriarchy with okay, that's a, a true subset patriarchy. of zealotry in a religious run state. But this is still a patriarchy here. Just because you're in a subset of the group okay. doesn't mean that it's still not operating overall. Okay. Right? No. Okay. Mm-mm. Uh, okay, we're going to have to pull up some articles and other things later That's on. Cool. Maybe we're in another video. we supposed to get video. back to make this No, for real. Now. So, anyways, <laughs> I'm just trying to, before we got on this long-ass tangent, I just, because, again, from the perspective of a black it woman, and I'm a this. black, and I am a black woman in America. Sure. I will say that. So, and Wait, I've, you're seen, black? I'm, I've seen things. I'm black presenting. When you see I was me, being okay. Facetious on that when you one. see me, you, you just add some you're not gonna question what race I am. You'll know immediately. <laughs> like, you'll know. I'm about to bleep this, but Nick. Anywho, <laughs> as a black woman in this country, I have seen mm-hmm. treatment, and mind you, I have friends who are in affluent um, areas mm-hmm. who are of other races. Mm-hmm. I see how they get treated with in society. Sure. I don't get treated that way, even though on paper I would have more accolades than them. On paper. Okay. Right? Okay. Just because, you know, so it, again, we're in a interesting place in society, right? Sure. Because, you know, according to all the studies and whatnot, mm-hmm. you know, certain groups of people are able to do certain things and get away with it, or it's a lot harder for them to be held accountable than others. And again, the whole point of this section of the article is saying that usually when something happens to specifically black women, they are not believed. They're not taken seriously. They are not trying to assist them with whatever they're going. Look at what's happening with Shanquilla, as you brought up before. Had it not been for social media, that would have been swept under the rug and none of us would have ever heard about it. Yeah, that's a rough one. So, and my, how many other cases are like that? There's literally millions. Millions. Um, and we okay. do not know about them at all. That's I, how swept under sure. the rug it is. At yeah. least with black men, people are able to be like, oh, okay, say his name or not even say his name. They have the hashtag. They literally had to create say her name because people weren't even not saying her name. 
They weren't even, they were just saying, oh, do you remember? Oh, dang, isn't that, doesn't that suck what happened to that black girl? They don't even say their name. So that's why this whole thing, when it was happening in 2020 mm -hmm. amongst George Floyd, when that had literally just happened three months, two months prior, mm -hmm. when, this, when this incident occurred, because this happened in July and George Floyd happened in May, mm -hmm. and we already knew the tensions were sky high. We all knew that. As a black person, how were you feeling? Maybe you were kind of like a no, you're a nomad kind of. So you, I don't know if you. Well, I went mix. to the I went to the monument site. So I traveled during the pandemic. I, it wasn't a big deal to me. So how, how were the tensions, or how were your, how was your experience as a black man mm -hmm. in this country during mm -hmm. that time? Did you feel like things were a little bit on edge? Did you feel like mm, maybe I should not go here because maybe the police might think I'm part of this group and nope. they might no. So you didn't have those feelings. Cause my, my overall assessment, even to this day is the same thing. It's worldwide. It's white supremacy has touched pretty much every corner of the oh, world. Yeah. So when you have that understanding, it's kind of like, okay, you just mind yourself and just stay vigilant where you go because no matter where you go, it's already there. So to to have this, I gotta look over my shoulder every time. I'm like, no, I know where I'm at. This the the cards or the deck, whatever the analogy is, is stacked against me. I knew that when I when I came of age, really. Um, single mother household, pretty much. Grandparents tried to step in, fill in some gaps, but I was told at a very young age, like you're a black man and you're just a man. You got two strikes against you. Good luck, son. Pretty much it. That's why when it comes to these sort of things, I'm just kind of like, I thought this is just standard issue for black households. Because when you go to white households and talk to white people, they don't have those kind of conversations like how to deal with the police. But these they things have been the system. Said. Why would they have those issues? They so, created but that's, the system but that's, for their benefit. That's precisely through my point. So it's kind of like these things should be common core. And the fact that it has to be a common core in of itself is an issue. But these yeah. things have been talked to death by Claude Anderson, Ivan Van Zertenma. Uh, Neely Francis Fuller, Wesley. all of them, it, it, and y'all should actually niggas read. Please Seriously, do because I, I we need to educate ourselves. I need to grab the library. You seen the library? I don't know if y'all can see it in the back. Uh, yeah, Not yeah, really, but if you can't, just just buy the books. Just read, y'all. I just gave you what well, we gave you five names right there. Yeah, I think. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this this whole it. ebb and flow is evolving, which I enjoy greatly. I know, right? Hope you guys are doing that. Make and sure you I hit hope, that subscribe button. And before y'all try and to say anything in the comments, say oh, anything let negative. Him say it. No, no, no. I just want to clarify. This is passionate discussion. We're not beefing. We're just having mm -hmm. real conversations the same way you would have a conversation in the house. We're just recording it. In fact, this is how a conversation should go. Exactly. I don't get angry with we her. Don't, and we she don't need get to. angry with me. Yeah. Just, we can have conversations. And I think that's an issue, though, that I would like to bring up with the video. Black, and this another one's video. a bit long. Oh, okay. We're at True. 43 minutes. Dang, we're at 43 yeah. minutes. Dang, y'all. Thank y'all for checking out. Yeah. Or not checking out, but at least. You know. <laughs> they checked out. I know. They probably did. Don't worry. We'll put some background music or something to keep it upbeat. But. <laughs> Great idea, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that y'all yeah. don't fall asleep. Because yeah. we're having like a discussion here. These are discussions that you should be having with people in your close circle. Um, can I piggyback on that? Yeah. With those who are intellectually mature to handle it. Okay. Thank you for saying that because yes. if you're if the person that you're having yes. a, a discussion with is not at the level that you need them to be, don't. If don't it do ends it. up like a Tory Lanez and exactly, Meg Thee Stallion situation, and you know that's coming, don't do don't it. Do it. Don't do it. Don't do it because we can obviously, obviously, we can see what. Can you know happen. how you know how people used to say when you go to family cookout, don't do it. We're gonna get back to this article yeah. too. Yeah. This is the last little bit of a rant, but seriously, if you can't have a, a dialogue like this and just be like, okay. So your facts are ma match my facts. We're just comparing notes at this mm -hmm. point. Yeah, Hers yeah. experiences was just through the female form and mine was through the male form. Exactly. It's kind of like they're going to coalesce at some point. It's just a matter of when. Women, especially black women, are afraid to report crimes like assault and sexual violence because they are too often not believed. Hey, this is points to your argument. Yeah. Right? Um, this trial for the second time this, second time this month. Yes. Because it's only been on, it's been like a two week trial. I really have not been following this, folks. Oh, I'm being dead ass week? serious. I don't know how many, yeah, I think it was like two weeks. I'm not sure. Highlighted the numerous ways that our society must do better for women, Gascon said, or added, excuse me, referring to Harvey Weinstein being found guilty of three out of seven charges on that day. Oh, I did not know that. Ain't he wow. Dead? No, he's not dead. He, I thought he hung you know himself. What, you know who? No, 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 no. That was Eric. Uh, what's his name? Some Epstein. What's his name? 
Jeff Epstein. What's his name? Jeffrey Epstein. Is that his name? Jeff Epstein? It sounds Jeff. Jeffrey sounds right. Okay. I don't know what I know. His last name is Epstein. I don't know his first name is, but he's the one who. Oh, is this the one that pulled out his his gentleman social and started giving it a wank? No, he's the one who had like a whole island full of kids and was doing a whole stuff. Yeah, oh. with the elites. Like he, yeah. Moving on. Don't uh-huh. want to talk about exactly. that too much. Exactly. I'm not trying to get caught up. You feel me? I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> so. he, he also thanked the jurors for their time and thoughtful deliberation. He's gonna have a hit on it. Allegedly, no, he's not. Lanes know. did not take the stand in his defense during the nine-day trial. That was a mistake. I feel like he should have. I don't know why he decided not to because as the trial was proceeding, he had a chance, and I think that was a huge mistake on his part or on his legal team's part. The jury, compromise of five men, oh, excuse me, comprised, not compromise, my bad, unless... No. Okay. (laughs) Jury comprised of five men and seven women. Also a factor. Indeed. Jury of peers and whatnot, yeah? Yeah. Began deliberating Thursday, and a verdict was reached on Friday afternoon. Oh, that's today, yeah? Yeah, today. So literally, L- literally a, few hours, today. a few hours ago. Yeah, we got to upload this today then. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lanes was taken out of the courtroom by bailiffs in handcuffs after the verdict was read. According to CNN affiliates, KCBS, he faces a maximum sentence of 22 years in prison and possible deportation He's back to his native Canada. He's definitely getting deported. And you know, once mm, you're a felon mate. in America and you're a fo- he will never be able to step foot in America again. Like he's, uh, he's banned pretty much like he's banned mm, and he makes his money. I don't, here, so is, that, is that truly accurate? Because there's felons fly all the time. He is for, not for a violent crime like that. I don't think America plays with stuff like that because even small crimes, they're like, no, I'm pretty sure there's a rapper out there that was flying that has a felon. No. most I think most felons, if they're here in America, they can fly in America. They can stay here, but they cannot leave. Mm. And the ones who are not from not here. not international. Eh? Yeah, and the ones who are not from here, you can't I mean, we back. could look it up real quick. Okay, look it up. I want to take up. this time to say NordVPN is not sponsoring exactly. this, but I'm going to just go ahead and put my Thank NordVPN you. on. Thank you, yes. And also, yeah, okay, perfect. Because I was yeah. like, you don't want to be looking that stuff up. You feel me? I can put that on your browser. I mean, it's not even me. a private browser. I'm at the... Blur all put, on, uh, put on, put on, what's Can felons fly in out of the Yeah, and you see how um, the answer will say. Says, no. After completing their sentence and post-prison sentence, such as probation, felons can travel outside the United States. Okay. The Fifth Amendment protects this right. Interesting. So why, okay, maybe that's after, maybe the reason why, and oh, the reason why I thought, oh, maybe good. the re- initial reason why I thought this was, I remember when Meek Mill said that he could not travel out of the country, but I realized now he's been on probation for a long time. It's so like he's not, risk. he's not done yet. So I think that's probably what it is. But we'll check, but that's not the question that needs to be asked. You need to ask if um, international, if s- non-citizens mm. commit crimes in America. You know, just for you, Tori, we're going to go to Canada. And they get deported are they allowed to come back that's what i want to know because mm. my my guess would be no because america way, is very picky about who they let in their country by the way nord if you're watching we you can use a uh, promo code b and k talks you know so just a little song song for the people no for the nord vpn so you know, for, for the people you know what i'm saying <laughs> Let's go ahead and open up a new tab. Yeah? Okay. And mind so, you, guys, please don't take our energy on this situation as being like lighthearted or anything. This is serious, but at the same time, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's, I mean, it's a lot going on. I know people are going to be. Type of one hand here. People are going to be either happy about this or they're going to be irritated about it or they're going to be neutral. And I'm in the neutral camp. I, I'm indifferent. I don't have like a. I will say, though, the way that Megan was getting treated online, that made me feel the way. I will say that because people, I don't understand. I want someone who is, like, going to be respectful to explain to me why specifically, like, mm. what Megan did. So that way I can at least get up to date. Cause he's I'm, not an immigrant. He's a, he's he's a, a migrant. He is a, well, he's not. Well, is he an expat? What's the no. word? There's a word for it. Um, a resident. I cannot. Wait. He's a resident. Just say non-residents commit crimes in America. Can they come back? Are they banned or something? I don't know how to how you phrase it, but say non-resident felony commits crime in. A put ask a question on Google because maybe it'll. This was Google. No, but I would ask a question. Say can can foreigners commit crimes in America? And come back after deportation. 
let's be specific. Yeah. Felony. Ten foreigners commit <coughs> a felony and still fly. And deep no, because he has possible deportation. What happens if he gets deported? Can he come back? Can and, and not only back. can he come back, if can he get deported? Because I'm assuming the answer would be yes for a crime like this. When it's a violent crime with a firearm, I'm assuming. Not saying that yes or no, but I'm like. I think that's what we want to say. Can foreigners commit a felony in the United States and still return? Okay, so let's see if it, it can. Again, one-handed people. I think I'm doing quite well. Regardless of the immigration status, non-citizens who have been convicted of an aggravated felony are prohibited from receiving most forms of relief that would spare them from deportation, including asylum, and from being readmitted okay. to the United States at any time in the future. That's what I thought. There you are. Okay. All right. That's research. What I, that's why I just wanted to get clarification. So oh, if he's facing hell. that, he will never be able to step foot in this country because this case was huge. I got it. And he's a celebrity. That. But this. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yep. Right now, actually. Yep. Um, I mean, just blur it out. Just put the, yeah, just put a little yep. blur thing. Yep. Yes, because we are committed to protecting the immigrant. All right. Privacy until we hit two mil. I thought we said five. Is it five? Oh, yeah. yeah five was a more commendable goal. Yeah, because five is like a, a r- nice round number. So 5K. If our, five channel, if our channel gets to five mil, we'll do a face reveal. Yeah, but until then, y'all, like the video. If you guys are, are interested in continuing the dialogue, please you know, do it in the comments respectfully. I want everyone to be respectful. You can state your opinion as passionate or however you want, but just be respectful, okay? If you don't want someone to come at you crazy, don't get on anybody crazy, especially not me, because I will cuss you out in the next video, and I'm not trying to do that. Now you just gave him fuel to the fire. Okay, well then edit that out, because I don't want to, I don't want to have to get there. Edit that whole part out. (laughs) Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe (laughs) if you like the content. And we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Catch y'all. Thank y'all again for watching. Bye. See you in the next one. Peace.